Okay, we're back in the multicam timeline from tutorial number seven. Um, at this point, we haven't yet flattened this timeline. So let's do that now. I'll just right click on the timeline, duplicate. I always like to keep a copy of the original timeline. I'll just name this one flatten. All right, so select one of my multicam clips and then I'll just Control or Command A to select all. And then you just right click and say flatten multicam clip. So this is just as I illustrated in tutorial number seven. Okay, so we flattened the multicam timeline. And you'll see that these clips now retain their individual effects. So if you'll recall that in the camera angle four, I used a dead pixel fixer to clean up a dead pixel that was on this uh, DSLR footage. And if we switch over to the color page for a moment, you will see that by this little rainbow box for each clip, that each clip still retains its primary grade. And those were the grades that I had placed on the individual subtracts within the multicam clip. But if I take, for example, camera angle one, and I begin to make changes, you'll see that those changes don't apply to any of the other instances of camera angle one. So let me just undo that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a feature in Resolve called groups. And grouping is very easy to use. It lets you combine a number of clips together and then you can apply node grades that apply to that entire group at one time. So for example, I can start to select the first instance of camera one here, and then I'll control click to add a few more in. And then just right click on one of those. And I will say add into new group. And we'll call this cam one. Then you can see that they have a little green link symbol below each of the clips that belong to this group. And you'll see if I select a clip that's in a group that in the node panel there are actually two new options. I can apply a node grade pre-clip and a node grade post-clip. If I select a clip that is not yet in a group you can see that you get just the option to apply a node grade to the individual clip or to the entire timeline. So let's continue on and add the balance of camera one to this same group. Okay, so I'll select one of the members of this camera one group, and then I'll continue to control click, and now I can add into the current group. So the current group is whichever one was selected by the first clip there. So I've now added these all in to the cam 001 group. And I'll continue through with camera two, control clicking. Make this a new group. I just have one in that happens to be in group three in this example. Okay, now you'll see that if we look up at the groups here that I actually have four, four groups. If I needed to remove one of these groups, you can simply come in and delete the group or rename it. It's actually very flexible. So, first off, let's say I take a look at this and I say there's a, there's a cast of green in the background here that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to apply 
to the pre-clip. And I'm just going to pull away from the opposite direction of green here, just pull a little bit out just to take that cast out. And you'll see that that has applied now to every single clip in this group. Similarly, we still see a green cast in the background here, so I'm going to pull that out of the gamma and pulling away from the green into the magenta. Maybe a little bit towards the blue. And finally, with camera angle four, honestly, I think we don't really see that cast of green in the, in the third camera angle. So just in camera angle four, I'll do the same thing, where I'm basically pulling into the magenta, maybe a little bit towards the blue. That may have been a bit, a bit too much, but what you're seeing here is that this has now applied across all of the clips in that camera angle because they're all a member of the same group. Okay. Now let's say, having done this, that I want to give a particular clip a special treatment, and I want to make sure I'm not applying it to all the clips in that group. So, for example, this clip. I make sure I cl select Clip in the Node panel. So now I'm going to be working with just this clip. It won't affect any of the other members in the group. And I'll use the 3D qualifier because I want to take some of the guitar and some of the shirt here. Let's just take a look at it by clicking the highlight button. And that's, that's probably good. What I'm going to do is I'll take this mat, I'm going to invert this, and then I'll just use the saturation and take the saturation right out of everything. And back to the 3D qualifier, I'd like to bring in some of this baseball cap again. There we go. That's probably good enough. Okay. But you can see that we didn't desaturate the background of this image, nor this. So the other clips in the group have been left alone. Now similarly, I could switch over to the post clip and do a treatment, maybe a vignette or something for a particular camera angle that will only affect the particular group I'm working on. But with something like a vignette, chances are you'd rather apply it to the entire timeline. So I can switch over to timeline mode. You'll see I actually don't have a default node here, but I can add one very easily. So I'll add a corrector node, connect these up, and then let's, uh, I'll just use my mouse wheel to zoom out here a little bit, but let's create an oval, an elliptical rather vignette. Maybe just bring that in about there. I'm going to soften that up quite a bit. And I can darken that. Just dropping the lift. And I'm going to invert. So that the darkening is on the on the edge there. And we'll just fit this to the window. You can see a slight edge there. It probably needs to be softened a little bit more. But you'll see that it's actually applied because I have the, it set to timeline mode, applying to every clip on the timeline. You can go back to clip grade and see that we have this, this grade. Okay, if we go back to the timeline, we can see this clip with the secondary grading. You can see the vignette in here. So the nice thing about using groups is it allows you to synchronize your changes across in, in the way I'm using it here uh, for, for each camera angle then sort of becomes linked to all the clips on the timeline for that camera angle. So I was able to remove the green cast very easily. And yet I could also switch to clip mode 
and make specific changes to a particular clip and not affect the other members of the group. So this is a very useful approach, particularly when you're working with a flattened multicam timeline. Thanks for watching. Bye now.